sippy Cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision And she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign And she born Love the way you twerk it shot What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ivor Abbott here on Forza Horizon 3. Feels like forever since I've been here on Forza Horizon 3. So we're here today because it is the anniversary Forza Thon. I am in the stock Mini Cooper that you can get in this Forza Thon. You can get the Horizon Edition in this Forza Thon, which we're gonna do. I'm getting left by that Maserati though. I mean, this thing does sound good for, you know, being a Mini Cooper. GP. So let's take a look here at what the challenges are for this Forza Thon. Okay, this thing handles pretty well. Well, we are only doing 60, 70 miles an hour. It's not like it's a blown out race car. No lift shift. Excuse me. All right. We're going to stop and see what the Forza Thons are for. Forza Thon, happy anniversary. We have finished three playground games in a mini to win the John Cooper Works GP. Horizon Edition, we are in the factory John Cooper Works GP, non-Horizon Edition. So I think we're going to use that. Complete a head head race to the Quartz Regali. I already have one of those. Don't really know if I want another one. Get three stars and three speed traps in a Lamborghini. No, in a Lamborghini, says Donario. Don't know if we have one of those. Perform 20, threading the needle skills in a Ferrari to receive 200,000. So, I think we're just mainly going to go for the Horizon Edition car. So, I got to hop into some playground games. Yep, three playground games in a mini. So, let's see if we can find some custom games only. I think I am in a B-class car. I think we're going to keep it B-class cars. So that way it's a little more fair. Yeah, we're in B. So I hope there's people doing B-class games. There should be. Custom, games only. Always B-class. So once I find a session, I will see you guys when I find one. Alright, so we did find a session here. And if you didn't know, I did... This Mini is going a little bit faster now because I decided to up it up to A-Class with some race tires and a bunch of power. So now we are up in A-Class, top of A-Class. So we are waiting for them to finish this event. They have one minute left. So we're just going to rip this through. That didn't grip. Ooh. I thought I was going to lose that. Just thinking first person right now. We're just waiting for these guys to finish. They got 43 seconds left. Ooh. I was so used to, you know. Oh, there we go. We're good. All right, so we completed our third game. Um, rather than show you guys the boring and horrible gameplay that was ensued on those three games, I just cut right to here for you guys. We're gonna hop in this Mini Cooper Horizon Edition and see what uh it's all about maybe see what modifications we can make to it and see what we can do with it and see what fun we can have in a mini which i don't know if that's much fun but we will definitely try to see how much fun we can have in a mini cooper because it's horizon edition and it's an anniversary forza thon so in the garage here let's check out this horizon edition mini cooper where to go? Gotta go to mini. Don't have many minis, so. Mini Cooper, there it is. The John Cooper Works GP Horizon Edition. Skills boost. It's all wheel drive from the factory. Hmm. Some uh, pretty nice wheels on there, so let's get into it. See what we can modify on it and see what type of fun we can have with a mini. It doesn't even... I like the other paint scheme from the other Mini Cooper, but... We'll just go with this right here, right now. Let's go to tuning and not tuning. I need to go to upgrades and see what we can do. We can make it rear-wheel drive. I think it's time to make a drift build. We're going to do it. Drift build time. It's got a 1.4 rally turbo. 
I think that's... We'll keep that. I think we'll just leave all the fours of wings and everything on it. I think we're going to take off... Hot Wheels compound? Hmm. I think it's more grip than race compound tires. What? Alright, so we're going to leave all of that stuff tires wise but we're going to probably try and build a drift car we may have to switch the engine but why not we can make it rear-wheel drive let's try and make it a drift car it's already got big brakes we're gonna just pop it on rally suspension because we know we're gonna have to modify that it's already got that it's probably doesn't have a cage we're gonna throw a cage in there the weight reduction is already on there Power additive. How much power can we get out of this thing? 433 horse. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough horsepower to drift on race tires. We're probably going to have to pump up that tire pressure. But, Horizon Edition Mini Cooper from the Anniversary Force is on. We're going to try and make it drift. So we're going to go... Oh boy. Tuning. We'll leave the tire pressure how it is. We'll leave all that. Gonna rake up the camber. Throw in some massive toe. The caster. Leave any rollbars, like springs, but we're gonna dump it on the ground. This thing's probably gonna be scraping, because that's pretty low. We're gonna adjust brake pressures to almost tandem style brakes. And we'll lock it under acceleration. And that thing is dumped. Alright. So let's see if this thing can drift on race tires. Let's uh head into Surfer's Paradise. So you guys picked up your Horizon Edition Mini Cooper. What have you done to it? You've built it for racing, drag racing, drifting. What'd you build it for? Let me know down in the comment section down below. We have a rear wheel drive right now. Let's rip it and see what happens. Oh boy, that steering angle is definitely not there. Wow, this thing is tail happy like a mother. Here we go. A little bit slide with it. Oh boy. All right, I don't like the race tires on it, so we're going to see if we can't modify the settings a little bit. We're going to drop this down. I think this might have been too much, and we'll see what that does, see if that makes it any better. Ooh, it's a little better. Ooh. I want to wreck our new car. My wheel felt really light there for a second. Wheel spin. So, this is pro probably not the best handling drift car we could make. Definitely do not like the tires, so we're gonna go back and modify the tires a little bit. We're gonna to probably throw dirt tires on it just because I'm not a fan of the race tires right now. I'm not sure what a lot of people are using this car for. I just picked it up because it was there. Don't think I'll ever really use it. And I think maybe the splitters are probably uh, not helping issues. So we're going to throw on dirt tires. I think we're going to take all the obnoxious Forza wings off and the front lip. We're going to take that off. Take this rear wing off. And then we're going to try it this way. So see how this, see how this handles. Probably won't handle as great as I'd hoped it would, but it is Mini Cooper, and Mini Coopers are probably not, you know, really meant for drifting. So, 
Let us see what it does. Hey Andrew, there's a driver who's got a bit of a following. It might be worth bringing them into your lineup. Oh, that's so much better. There we go. I think we have built a drift Miata. Or Miata. Mini. Same thing, they're both small cars. So, we're just gonna rip this a little bit. Ooh, jeez. I don't think I was gonna save that. Nope. So, what are you guys doing with your Mini Cooper if you picked it up? Did you build a street car? Did you build a drag car? Did you build a race car? Did you build a drift car like me? Probably not. Not a lot of people are probably dumb enough to build a drift car out of a Mini. But this thing is getting pretty sideways. Ooh, don't hit that car. Ooh, just a tap. Just a tap. Cracked both of our taillights by just a tap there. So, you know, we got to send this into the parking lot just to give it a little, you know, once over in the parking lot simulator. So, we're going to rip this real quick. Keep it in third. The curb pop. Oh. The car handles so much better on dirt tires than it did on race tires. Yup. I think this is good. I think we've successfully built a drift Mini Cooper with this Horizon Edition Mini. And it is a skills boost car, so I believe we are gaining extra things for its skills. Oh, that was right on that flag. I honestly thought there was a road that way. I totally forgot how the map goes. Whoa, Mercedes. So, what have you guys done with the Mini? Because, I mean, if you guys built a Drift Mini, I'm thinking maybe we should do a uh, open Drift Lobby with just the, the Mini Coopers. So I think to end this episode off, we're going to hop up into my favorite Drift Zone, run it real quick in the Mini. So if you guys want to see more here on Forza Horizon 3, don't forget to tap the like button, subscribe if you have not already done so. And please don't forget to tap the like button. It does help me out greatest. So if you guys want to see more here on Forza Horizon 3, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And tap that like button. It does help me out when you guys tap the like button. It does get my videos up there more. So here we go. Fourth gear. We still drive guitars and everything, but we're just going to try it. Oh! And we go right into the Wii U. So we're going to get a rerun. So, have we successfully built a Drift Mini? I think we have. Let me know what you guys think. Did I successfully build a Drift Mini? Probably not, because, you know, it's not, like, the best drift car you could ever make. Here we go. Nice entry. Here we go. Not bad. And let's get third tires. We need to stay out of the dirt for all points. That car's smoking? That's creepy. There we go, just to tap on him. Very respectable 93k. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Horizon 3. Just wanted to get on here and get this anniversary Mini Cooper since I do not have one of these. So. We'll be back on Horizon 3 this week as well as on Project Cars 2. I'm going to try and fight through the course feedback issues and do some hot lapping in a couple cars. Maybe compare it to a set of course if you want to see some Project Cars 2 compared to a set of course. Let me know down in the comment section down below. That was a huge angle. But we're going to go off-road in this mini. So until next time, guys, you know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I just treat you on it. Without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out.